Common screen protector problem solved. Bubbles. Bubbles between your iPhone's glass and your screen protector really can be annoying. It can also be very difficult to avoid unless you know this little secret I'm about to tell you. Let's head on over to Google Images here and search for iPhone 5 screen protector bubbles just so we can get a picture of exactly what I'm talking about. Hopefully you'll never experience bubbles to the degree that this first image has. Let's show you a picture here of something that's a little more typical. The larger bubble there and the smaller bubble. The larger one is probably air caused by air trapped and the smaller one is probably caused by dust or lint particles trapped between the protector and your iPhone's glass. They really are no fun. Not only do they interrupt your screen from looking perfect, but they also mean that your screen protector isn't adhering properly. The resulting effect is that your screen protector is not going to last like it should and therefore it's not going to protect your iPhone. So to avoid getting these bubbles on your glass, here's the process to follow. First of all, make sure you are installing the screen protector in a clean, dust-free as possible environment. Thoroughly clean the phone's glass with a microfiber cloth to ensure no lint or dust particles are left on the screen. Oftentimes I'll even blow on the screen after I'm done cleaning it with a cloth just to ensure nothing's left. After you've applied the screen protector to your phone, use a squeegee card or a credit card wrapped in the cleaning cloth to smooth out the air bubbles. And here's the secret step. Typically the most difficult bubbles to remove are those caused by dust or lint particles trapped between the film and the iPhone's glass. The secret to removing those bubbles is to simply use one piece of tape such as a household scotch tape to pull up on the corner of your screen protector nearest the bubble and then use another piece of scotch tape to dab the area where that bubble was. Dab the bottom of the screen protector, the sticky side, and also dab the glass of your iPhone where the bubble was present. And then slowly let the screen protector back down. Typically the tape then will adhere to the uh, dust, grab the dust or the lint particle, and when you put the screen protector back down there should be no more bubbles. If you go to our website, worldsbestscreenprotectors.com, you actually have an installation video there that shows you exactly how to do this. My name is Joshua Jantz with the World's Best Screen Protectors. I know it can be difficult or scary to put your hard-earned money on the line for a do-it-yourself screen protector installation. That's why all of our protectors come with a lifetime satisfaction guarantee. Even if you mess up installing the screen protector and you get bubbles and you can't figure out how to get them off, you can just simply contact us and we will be happy to either give you a full refund or to ship you a free replacement so you can try again. Also, if our screen protectors fail to last you for the life of the device you apply them upon, and of course if they fail to satisfy you at any time in the future, simply give them back to us for a full refund or replacement. So what you waiting for? Buy it now. Use coupon code on Amazon to buy one, get one free.